Hey guys, and welcome to this Blacktop Quick Tip. Today we're going to talk about kit bashing. What is kit bashing? Well, it's a major way that you can speed up your workflow by using previously made assets uh, to insert into your current models. So if you're, say, modeling a human and you need to put a set of teeth and gums in, into their mouth, well, instead of building them from scratch, why not use a set that you may have used in the past or that you found online? Now, not saying to go and steal all the models off the internet, but if you have something you previously created, or if you're having a hard time creating something, then it's not such a bad thing to go and get some reference to work from. But in this case, if you have a previously used object, like say a set of teeth, and you have a human that you're modeling, use those. Even if they're drastically different, you at least have a starting point to go from to adjust or make, you know, monster teeth out of regular human teeth. Um, or say you have a set of eyes that you commonly use, or a set of ears that you use as an insert mesh brush. Now ZBrush has a lot of these tools built into them. If you look into your brush palette and you go to any one of the insert mesh brushes, you'll see all of them here. There's the insert mesh uh, brush for body parts. And if we open that up and hit the M key, we get a whole list here of all the different body parts that we can insert into our mesh. So this is one way that you could speed up your workflow if you uh, have insert mesh brushes or you create insert mesh brushes. Another thing that you can do is uh, having pre-made assets to speed up workflow for practice. So in this case I have a blank bust here and I use this for speed sculpt, something that I use as practice to get faster in my uh, organic sculpting. So. This, speed, this uh, bust here is a great way to start quick and not have to worry about taking a sphere, you know, or making it a, a, a polymesh 3D, then dynameshing it. It just saves you that much, a little bit of time right there in forming it and creating this shape. It's not to say that you can't start from a sphere, you absolutely can. But in this case, starting with a bust like this, uh, it saves you a lot of time. So what I've done is I've actually created several different busts here and these are going to be up uh, on the uh, comments link for download there'll be a link for them and you can use these six different busts here to start your speed sculpts use these to create all kinds of different characters from uh, females to aliens to cartoon characters to uh, big muscular characters they're they're all set and ready to go Thanks for watching this quick tip. I hope it helped out. I hope you guys download this and use it. Please give us feedback for more um, awesome quick tips and more videos. Subscribe, like us on Facebook, and follow us. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you in the next quick tip.